Ba 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 chill. Bingi lela ba. Okay. Uh thank you so much and thank you for having me today. Uh This is a very important conversation which I'm delighted to be part of uh as we look into uh voting patterns of our people. As we look into uh voting patterns of our people and uh, the factors that uh, influence or affect uh, uh, the manner in which they vote. I'm very happy to be here and uh, I hope that uh, we'll be able to learn from each other and they have different insights with the overall objective being to improve uh, the voting systems and the voting patterns of our people otherwise thank you so much i will be fixing my 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 comment uh, mr tison collins pachila uh, he was born and bred in matopo district he did his schooling there his training is in logistics and the human resources management. He joined the MTC after the 2005 split and has served in its youth assembly and in several uh, committees, such as the Elections Committee, International Relations Committee, and the Information and Organize, Organize, Organization Committee. Mr. Pachila is currently a member of parliament representing Emma Kandene Luveve constituents. Mr. Pachila sits in three parliamentary portfolio committees, uh, namely the Health and Child, uh, Child Care Com Committee, the Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare Committee, and uh, finally, the ICT, Postal, and Courier uh, Services Committee. Uh, uh, Mr. Pachila, uh, could you give us your submission, please? Okay, no, thank you so much. Um, well, I largely agree with the submissions by uh, Umoyo uh, in terms of um, uh, what needs to be done from our end. Uh, as the people of Matebele land in terms of how best we can uh, reorganize ourselves uh, and take ourselves out of uh, working uh, in sixes and sevens. I should say that um, uh, I will start by looking at us, looking at internally, and then uh, I will go externally. I should say that um, uh, in 2000, the way somebody in Lupane voted was the same as the way somebody in uh, Filabusi would vote. It was the same as somebody in Plumtree would vote. That is the, uh, the outcome of the 2000 election. You had problems, uh, you had differences when it comes to the southern parts of Kwanda and uh, Bait Bridge. But uh, the rest, uh, our people without communicating to each other physically, uh, they would vote in the same way. Uh, from 2005, uh, that began to change. So you are now having trends, but those trends are no longer uniform throughout the region. So you will get that uh, uh, in uh, in Cholocho now. You would know that uh, uh, generally the people of Cholocho would move uh, in the same direction. What uh, is happening now in the region is that uh, you now have voting for individuals, which is an imaging trend in the region. People are no longer voting for political parties per se, especially in rural Matebele land. The urban parts are uh, their own uh, trend. But in rural Matebele land, people are no longer voting much for the party. They are voting much for the individual. While yesterday, political parties were fielding a candidate that they felt that these ones are going to push 
our agenda most as the political party. Now the situation has changed. Political parties are now scouting for people whom they see that this one has a semblance of popularity and can win us votes in those areas. So they want to match the popularity of that person with the uh, membership of the respective political party. To the extent that you now have a lot of members of parliament, a lot of councillors in the region who do not have much of the history uh, and of uh, the paper trail of the political parties that they represent. So that has also become a trend of the kind of people who have won uh, elections uh, largely. Um, in terms of organizing ourselves as a region, there is a challenge of uh, the question of uh, when was when was were things correct in the region? When was it right? So, do we want to take ourselves back to the time when everything was all right, or when we were at our best, or we want to take ourselves to a collective future that we see? The missing part is that one of looking at a collective future that we see. Because here is the situation. We have got some people who believe that our best time or the best we produced for the region in terms of leadership was the caliber that sat in parliament and represented us between 1980 and 1985. And these people have spent a lot of energy trying to recreate the 1980 to 1985 caliber of representatives. Then you have got another one that says that the best people who can lead the region are those who established Mbovani Yamasabe Zulu, who established Zapu 2000. And we see the, that trend also existing now of a uh, continuous reference and a continuous push to those efforts of Imbovane Yamashabe Zulu and the Zapu 2000, presenting them as the best efforts of our emancipation and uh, trying to push the people who were part of those efforts uh, to uh, be at the helm of the things as they move forward. You then have the MDC crew those who were part of the founding leadership of the MDC, also believing that the coming together, uh, 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 they are coming together at the formation of the MDC, presenting themselves as leadership at that point in time, presented the region the best fighting chance, the best opportunities. And then you move on also to later on groups that says, we then left the MTC, uh, we then left uh, uh, Zapu 2000 and tried to establish uh, what I can call the later day movements of the region. And they believe they are the best. All these uh, uh, groups, uh, historical groups, believe that they are the best and they all want to take us to a time when they were at the peak of their performance. So we lack a, a system, we lack a platform that can give us a united vision, that can give us the best way forward. Because all those who are presenting uh, themselves uh, to lead us are presenting us, are, pre are, 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 are giving our eyes to look at the best parts of history where they played one role or another. In my view, uh, these groups have grudges against each other. They wish to always show that they were the best. And in the process of that uh, beauty contest, our people do not know who to follow, what to do, and what is the right direction. So in my view, that is what needs uh, to, be, to, be, to be fixed. I will get into the outcome of elections and show also that uh, 
this behavior has resulted in a situation whereby you look at the top two political parties by whatever name in the 15 year period between 2008 and uh, uh, 2018 elections so 2008 to 2023 you look at uh, those elections you see a trend and uh, the trend is that is saying space outside the big two political parties is shrinking and uh, it is complex to unite that but in my view if there could be a means to unite people who are outside the big two do not worry about the big two by whatever name. Organize our people outside the big two. They will be a force to reckon with. Our inability to organize outside the big two is our greatest undoing. I thank you. Thanks very much, uh, Honorable MP. Uh, Baba Pajil, uh, same question to you. Uh, also, taking into account that you belong to CCC or MTC, uh, do you think it is important for people of Matabellian to vote as a bloc? Uh, thank you so much, Nkala. It's, uh, it goes without saying because um, le le let me quote within the well and say Gukara take a look at a band to be in yanda. Ugwen se luguti na in yanda imile inye e gumbeng it in jem omyaba wen kuni. Gunzi ma ugutu kamulege. So gutin jelaba mele e abantu ba ba kulmenye lizi linye. Belo tumo lunye. Gukara take a cool. So I, 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 I agree that it's important for our people to 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 vote as a block and uh, we need to then find that unifying agenda uh that says what is it that we can do for our people uh to vote uh, as a block in my view the first thing that needs to be done is to say there is the politics of the big two in Zimbabwe. That at every given point in time, there seems to be these two big political entities. With the exception of the 2008 elections, political parties that identify themselves as separate entities, they have always been two in parliament at least in terms of the outcome of uh, elections, of, of, of results of elections. So what needs to be done is to explore means by which our people who are outside the big two could come together and see uh, what can be done. At one point I was speaking to uh, our people who were uh, uh, in the uh, MRP, the Republic Party, uh, post uh, uh, 2018 election. And I said to them, you got 3,000 votes throughout Bulawa. And there are people who are councillors today in Bulawa with 2,000 votes. At that point in time, we had such councillors. 2,000 votes. And I was saying, if you had your people <coughs> strategically positioned in one voting area, your guys will be having a councillor today. But because there were uh, 11 of you who wanted to be councillors at that point in time, you couldn't agree on where to go and station those people so that only one of you could be a council candidate so that became a problem on its own
so long. So mm-hmm. my point was, we needed to find means as a starting point by which we can unite our people who are outside the big two and demonstrate that it is possible for our people to work together. Because the current attitude is to continually castigate the big two. And it's not paying out. The attitude of continually castigating the big two is not paying out if those outside the big two are not united. If those outside the big two are not coming together. So bring our people who are outside the big two. Create voting areas where our people outside the big two could come together. Because even with other political parties, I believe that uh, 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 Inkata Freedom Party, if it had all its efforts throughout KZN, it wouldn't have the kind of impact that it has. But Inkata Freedom Party has captured Zululand, and once they've captured Zululand, it done much of its work in Zululand, and then they expand to the next uh, 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 district or to the next uh, a voting a constituency in KZN and on and on and on. And you can see also that strategically that is what a, a Umkonto as a party seems to be doing. That in areas where they've brought all their people together, the strategy is to consolidate. Because if we are to start reorganizing Matebel and bring our people to vote as a bloc, but we want to start everywhere at once, it will not work. Uh, we need to prepare our people and the processes of preparing our people must be based on first achieving unity amongst our people outside the big two. That's what I, sh- I would say. Okay. No, th- th- thanks very much. Thanks very much for that imp- input, uh, Baba Pachila. Um, but, uh, Baba Pachila, let me come to you, Baba. Uh, particularly seeing that uh, you are MTC, you are CCCC, and you are of the view that uh, the people of Matebele land should vote in bloc. But we know that uh, C or MTC was a national party. So h- h- how do you reconcile uh, those two? No, I, 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 I hear you. I'll answer you uh, in two ways. Yeah. The first, the first one is that um, when the MTC split, I joined the MTC that uh, would then get uh, to be led by Professor Walshman Ngube. And when Professor Walshman Ngube stood in the 2013 elections, I, I I stood side by side him. Uh, I contested elections in Matopo uh, to be member of parliament uh, in my in in my mid twenties uh, at that point in time. The 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 focus on it was really to try to organize our people outside the big two. Say something which I I I I kept on saying. Mm-hmm. And when I say uh, I look at the results of that election, I do not want to second case our people. Our people rejected us. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other thing that affects uh, also our political planning is that there there are times when people say something and we refuse that it is what they say. Mm -hmm. So in 2013, our people refused us. We went back to them and said, so what do you want? And they said to us, look, we want you to represent us here. And when I say uh, we we went back to them, I slept uh, at one time at at, at St. Lake Alice in Lupane around a bonfire. And the elders from that community kept coming to this homestead we were at. And we had discussions with them that ran into the next morning. We did the same lingue in Matopo. We did the same Kwanda North in Yandeni. And the people said to us, 
We want you to represent us here. But you must look for somebody else to be a presidential candidate. None of you should be. And these are frank conversations they are telling us right in front of our faces. We have no reason to doubt and second guess them even if we believe that what they are saying is not the best way forward. But this is what they said because it's one thing to say this is my belief on the way forward and it's another to say this is what the people say. So, fast forward from that conversation with the people, that's when you see then efforts to reunify the MDC. Again, the effort to reunify the MDC is to say, at least in our region, our people must be the representatives. The views of our people in the formation of the party in the establishment of the policies and stuff like that should matter. This is the principle that we push through as we form MDC uh, Alliance, the, the, the reunification. We go in that direction, we do not succeed. Because the other thing is uh, that, that I've seen also affecting our performance elsewhere is to present ourselves as, as Rambo characters, that everything that we've done, it succeeded we do not acknowledge our failures here and there. So we went uh, re-establishment, I mean establishment of MTC Alliance. The agenda is exactly that. Our people must represent us where it matters. But it must also understand, we, when we did this, we were conscious of the fact that from 2008, the 2005 split, literally in terms of our people, resulted in a situation whereby the people went in one direction and uh, the leadership went in another direction. Reunification of the people with the leadership was the agenda. So, in short, I believe in the unification of our people. And our people coming together to vote as a bloc. They might vote as a bloc within a national party, making sure that this national party, we are a bloc, we are going to foist our policy thrust on it, we are going to foist our candidates on it, and we are going to liberate our candidates to speak uh, in parliament in terms of the things that we want. That's one way of bloc voting. The other block voting is our people vote as a block for a regional. A, I do not like the term regional because I do not think that a, it, a, it, it clearly defines a, 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 who we are. We, we are not a region, we are a nation. So, but for the purposes of this conversation, a, a poli our people voting a, as a block a, for a regional party and a, then a doing APCT. My one-year experience in Parliament is that it is possible to push your agenda uh, in Parliament, regardless of your numbers. But there must be two conditions that are important. The first condition is that you must not be subject to any whipping system of some sort. The challenges currently facing the opposition are such that there is too little, if any, weeping that is happening in the opposition. And therefore, our people from the opposition are free. But you can see that our people on the other side are not free. Because there are things that they would come to us and say, look, this thing affects people in my area in manners A, B, C, T. But because you are sitting on the other side of the house where there is more freedom, can you please raise it? And that is why you will find some of us raising issues that are not limited to Emma Kandeni Luveve, but are effectively about the entire region because I've got the space. So our people, when they get to parliament, they can do that uh, if they are not subject to excessive whipping. 
but also our people need to we need to start training our people now so that if you are going to be a, a, a small number uh, in the legislature you must be sufficiently trained to understand that you must raise your issues in such a way that they do not lead to a vote because parliament can make decisions without voting so as long as we are going to be too contrarian as long as we are going to be too uh, 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 offend, offensive all issues that we raise will lead to a vote and all our issues will lose so framing of our issues is also a skill that we need to start uh, teaching our people now before we even get to that a uh, uh, voting block because if we are going to have that block and that blocks when that block when it gets there it uh, has the agenda of uh, 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 seeking applause and uh, 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 being uh, people uh, liking you for insulting others those others will just vote against you no matter how uh, uh, how compelling uh, the issue that you raise because they will be having a vendetta uh, with you so those are some of the issues that we need to start doing now uh, uh, around that but i believe that uh, block voting is an absolute necessity uh, at a strategic level it can then be determined whether we are voting as a block within a, 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 in Ma, in Makonya's uh, frame within a sovereign party uh, or we are doing so within our own a, 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 a separate entity what role i can play in that kind of entity time will tell but i'm one person who wouldn't mind staying at home uh, support our people and let them succeed okay no thanks very much for your clarity baba clarity of mind and uh, clarification of issues no it's very clear thanks thanks very 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 much um Nina's baba Pachila. I'm saying that because uh, he was referring to you a lot. Uh, I, 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 I don't have uh, much uh, the views that he expresses. I'm, 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 I'm aware of them. <laughs> he has expressed them for, 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 for some time. I, I, I get his, uh, his um, issues generally about uh, the sovereign party and uh, its um, and uh, its, uh, its 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 problems uh, within uh, uh, pursuing uh, the regional agenda. I just want to correct uh, one thing that is uh, are historical. Um, when when the MDC split, it was expected that Gibson Spanda will be the president of the other formation, not Welshman. Um, I say this. Let me do this. Uh, some of us believe in Isi Chosesin Twin, Isi Tagula Lang, Ela Pumeli Nyelinga Racho. And we believe uh, this has affected uh, some people's uh, pursuit uh, for leadership. It would not have happened for Welshmen Nube to contest leadership as long as Gibson Spanda was around and alive. That's not going to happen. I, I'm not speaking about people that I read uh, on newspapers uh, from. I speak about people that I know personally and have interacted with. So if there was somebody out there who expected that whatever was happening was for the purposes of Welshman Nube to become a leader of the party at that juncture, there is stuff that they didn't know or are still yet to know. The mantra or the saying Yagiti etagula langela pumeli nyelinga gacho is quite guiding to some of us to this day. That's why even if people will say to us, "No, you have done A, B, C, D, uh, stand up and uh, do this and that," 
we understand ukuthi kule langa la eli khona elingakatshoni we must respect ilanga lendele ukuthi lithone nxa lisehlule ukukhanyisa kuhle lisehlule ukutshisa kuhle silincedise libe lilanga elizakhanyisa lithise because isintu sakithi would not have come up with isitsho esithi akula langa elizaphuma elinye lingakatshoni if it meant absolutely nothing about ukuphila kwethu so that uh, uh, was a misunderstanding of what was happening but uh, Gibson Spanda uh, dies in August 2010 in January 2011 Welshman Nube stands up and takes over the leadership of the party it's exactly as it was it's exactly as it was happening there was nothing a a a untoward but the rest of the analysis that he brings about the the the, the national party or the, the the sovereign party i i i hear it uh, it's uh, his views i respect them uh, i think they are worth uh, 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 taking on board as we seek uh, to build uh, other things because uh, these views that are, 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 are generated out of these kinds of thoughts are necessary to be put into a basket of uh, numerous views leading to a, a, a resolution that can bring uh, our people together otherwise that's the only uh, uh, comment i could okay. make on yeah. okay no siya bonga kakhulu siya bonga kakhulu um siya bonga kakhulu ikoge what we will do now uh, is to conclude uh, ingoqo yethebe sinayo engicabanga ukuthi bekuyi ngoqo enhle kakhulu em ngizo fela ukuthi ngamunye ngamunye wenu anikeze ama closing remarks akhe eh ngizoqala ngoba ubhajili ukuthi enikeze ama closing remarks akhe engadluli 3 minutes ba no nyabonga nyabonga enkala eh, eh, nyabonga lani ma bantu bakithi lonke eli bekhona lapho ukuthi siqoqo sane um i think eh, this is a very good start yokuthi bantu bakithi siqoqo sane eh uh, sizwanane imbono yethu ngokwehlukana kwayo eh ukuthi la nxa singaboni ngasolinye singakuthathi ukungaboni ngasolinye eh njenge nje ngungazwani kodwa nje ngokwakhana eh sisiya phambili mina yikho eh engukuthethewe lapho ukuthi lapha siqala uhlelo oluhle siqala ukuhamba ngodaba lokwakhana ababona ngasolinye bebonisa abanye abangabonisa bona ngasolinye besizwa imbono yabanye kusiqakathekele khona lokho ah njengesizwe samthwakazi ukuthi eh sikubone eh kunjalo ngithathekiswe yimbuzo emithathu evelileyo laphana kukungala ukuthi awa people now outnumbered eh ngabantu bokudza yini emakhaya ngumbuzo oqakathekileyo nalowo okumele ukuthi sibuze wona kakhulu kazi ngoba siyaboni urbanization yeza nxa urbanization size emakhaya ama growth point ethu e ekhula esibanga ama small town kuthoni khona lokho ngiza uthiya la munjalo umbuzo nalo ukuthi asiqhobeke nesicabanga ngawo then kube lokuthi what can we do to re-engineer our society the very important question okumele no, sithone sizibuza ngayo ukuthi e, sicabangani then ngithathekiswe ngalo ukuthi kule nto yokuthi as politicians let's go and listen to people but also kule nto yokuthi as politicians we must redirect our people to uh, the rightful uh, direction and decision i think it's important and i think we need to ask ourselves ukuthi at what point do we listen at what point do we redirect once we have answers to izinto zena lezo ngicabanga ukuthi kuzasinceda kakhulu ekwakheni sizo sakithi nyabonga kakhulu eh ukuthi conversation yenale isiyenzakele nyabona umbuzo ovela kudonatus dube lapha ngizalalela ngile thembu ukuthi abanye ungavela umphendulo ungavela umphendulo ubabudu 
impendulo ya kona iinde iinde kabu ngezama ikuma kuma kutu karategi i block voting i karategi ili ngoba iye nzuguti ee singa vantu shoni pege ufanana loguti ngali ngabafana lisi ya welusa eka ngeni ee inkomo utola gale abafana bago tuwe baya alu abaya chaya anabe konale eka ngeni agusoze kubashi oni pise abafana baga nyuri kota abafana baga tuwe venga ziwa uguti labana abafana baga tuwe velebo na baba mbene bakuluma azwili nye venza yonki into in one direction Haba fama be lusa labo baza ba shoni ipa. La ati singa kala ngo shelo lue plok voting. Si za shoni pega. Si za ee. Kupula. Injela. Haba ante spila labo. Haba ante sakela ne labo. Haba spangele ngayo. Kotwa nga se senza zonki zinto. Kutuwa la lola lo wenzo kwa ke. Ee ulo wa kumtabango. Ee kona kakategi luba le mtabango la lola lo velo wa ke. Kotwa pela kumelu uso yuguta wa foen la oba naganani. In so so yobu kokeli. The role of leadership. Mana ngube genge slu. The role of leadership is to collect views from everyone. And then establish a one uniting view from imbono eminen. So that is the role we should play. Sisi ya figa. Gu block voting. Yi block voting ya siza kakulu. Ya tingagala. Singa kangelu guti katese kinya. O ruto, besiba ngo vice, besiba ngo vice president, besiba ngo president. Nga kangelu kuti wa velela kuma ethnic groupings anga ganani. Uza ubonu kakatega kwe 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 block voting. E, usu kangela kona lapo. Nyi ngati nga mafichani, yiko ugubo nga kwa mkutu mshanga nwetu, e, usu fige lapa, logu pendula umbuzo, oga tuube. Nyi le tembu kuti, abanya bafo wetu lapo, abasozi bauchie pandi umbuzo, oga tuube. Uwenze luguta toli mpendule zinengi. Zimita sisele. Nguka ati wakwe plok voting. Nyi abu wanga kakul. Ah, si abu wanga kakul, baba pachila, si abu wanga kakul.